Um, and lastly, we can't let you leave without a very special surprise. So we wanted you guys to have a go at, uh, at drawing Mickey Mouse. And who better to learn that from in a master class than with the wonderful Andrea today? So please welcome. I don't want to hear from any of you, I can't even draw a straight line. Because there are no straight lines in Mickey Mouse. It's all curves. No excuses. So what I will do is like step by step, okay. very simply, put on Mickey's shapes, and, and you guys follow along. And afterwards, I want to see all the drawings on the floor, and I'm going to write no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait until everybody has paper. Looks like we all do, right? So just, just follow my lead here. And by the way, we are, we are doing the full figure. We're not doing the story of the head. This is a master class. <laughs> so I will step aside regularly so you can see what I will have done on the sheet. So the first thing is, of course, you do a circle for the head. To put down, this is where I mean, this head basically is going to be. Sort of on the upper left hand, if you will. Just a very easy, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then, what I, what I usually do next is to define his muzzle, his nose. So you start right here. I'm going to have him look this way, toward the, toward the right. You take this oval shape, but then take it all the way back to that circle. This, that, that will actually make him smile when we finish the details. We'll see you. Yeah, sorry. Very simple. No straight lines, <laughs> like I said. Then, if you want, you can all already add the sort of. It's sort of an almond-shaped nose right here that look, looks like that. And then, as I said, we're going to have him look right. So the eyes are kind of strangely elongated, but that's that's Mickey Mouse. That's how he works. So there are these tall. Ovals, there's one, and to, to the right, because of the perspective of this, there's one that's a little bit smaller, because this is closer to us, this eye is closer to us than the other one. And go ahead and add these ovals for the pupils, right there. Very simple. Very easy. <laughs> All right, then we're going to draw his mask because he has this very famous graphic mask uh, around his eyes and it also defines his smile. So we do one arc over this eye, the bigger one over this one, take it all the way down to here, kind of frame the eye unit if you will, and then have another big curved line for the smile. And we add this sort of wrinkle to show that the cheek is being pushed upward for the smile. And then we add this mouth, which is sort of an arch way like this. In all round shapes. And then you draw his lip by just adding almost a parallel. You can get a little thinner toward the nose to again say this, this is closer to us than, than this. You add the tongue. And you have basically Mickey's face, his head. You guys are doing great. I see some good ones from here. And in terms of the eye, the, the, the uh, ears, Mickey's ears are always round. They, they never really change in perspective, so you, you can't go wrong. Just put one right sort of just off to the middle of his head, like maybe one here. And then one next to it right there. And then you basically have uh, his head. But right, we're not done yet. <laughs> Way to go. Just so going to step aside and give people a chance to, to see this. <laughs> feel free to draw loose. You don't have to really be very clean and precise. Feel, feel free to draw loose with your wrist and your arm. So then I was going to lock in his body, which is really a, a pear-shaped form. And kind of start at the, at the mouth, 
and you kind of go forward for the belly. And we're doing this kind of, I mean, it really is a pair. This kind of thing. Just sort of overlapping with the, with the mouth shape. and avocado and aubergine, who knows. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the, the line for his pants because he's, he's kind of leaning backward. So I'm going to do the pants like this. And we have two buttons on top again. The one closer to us is a little bit bigger. These, these subtle kind of things really give him, him depth and form uh, by making one a little bit larger than the, than the other, which is a little further away. And then, there are some almost straight lines, but not really, coming out of this pear shape down here. This would be his legs, of course. And then I'm just going to block in where his feet would go. Just a big oval shape like this. Another one over here. You step away to see that I'm in proportion. This can be a little bit larger. Yeah, it's always good to have him uh, with the toes pointing apart. It gives him, it gives him a better stand than if you have the one foot doing the exact same thing than the other. Kind of plants him firmly on the ground. And then where the feet connect with the leg, there's sort of this, this donut. Like this kind of thing right here. It's a simple donut. And then the same for the other side. Like that. You can add a couple of wrinkles if you want. And then for, because these are shorts basically, you do this and do that. Basically, show the, the endings. For the short, for, for his shorts. So now you got the full figure without the arms. Well, I'm going to be a little bit lenient with you guys. We don't have to draw both arms. You can have one arm going back behind his back. So you just draw this tube again from the mouth cheek unit on up, and then you curve it all the way there. And then we have again the donut for his. Uh, his hand, where his, where his glove basically starts. You have that. And then a little bit of an indication of where that hand will be, even though it's behind him, but the, the fingers kind of curl backward a little bit, like that, like this, and like that. Oh my goodness, is that on here? <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> and let's have the other hand sort of like reach out as he often does in his poses. So this one would line up kind of with where this arm uh, gets into the body. So I would start it here behind his nose. And we're going to elongate this a little bit like that. And then what I would do is another oval for his, his hand, which would be right there. And then to give that some depth, here comes the other donut, where the arm connects with the hand. Like that. So this, this is the same thing as that. And then I go up here and draw his thumb. This sort of this shape right there. And then we have one finger. He only has four fingers. And that will be the hand that sort of reaches out. So if you've gotten this far close to it, what, what is missing? Tail. Tail, of course, obviously. The easiest thing in the whole thing. You just have a slight S curve coming from behind his pants, doing that. <coughs> And you can make that a little bit thicker at the start, and then it kind of becomes a little thinner. 
And there's your basic uh, Mickey Mouse. Anybody following along? Mm -hmm. There's a doing great. <laughs> So this would be one key draw. If you want to make him move and have his hand go down, then of course you have to do all those other key drawings as his hand lowers and other things happening. That, that, that's how you would animate. You need at least 12 drawings per second. Most of the time it's actually 24 drawings per second. So this is how crazy we are. But thank you so much for drawing along. I really appreciate it. Thank you.